Okay, so we are going to talk about Gauss Lagrange rules. So Gauss Lagrange rules is a way to approximate the integral from minus 1 to 1 of the function f. And you can see that <coughs> different from rectangular rules or Simpson rules, now the points are not equally spaced. Yeah? And the weights are not like depends on the width of the intervals anymore. So now the weights and the quadrature points are given by the following formulas. So the quadrature point xj at the zero of the Legendre polynomial of degree n, yeah, and the Legendre polynomial is degree uh, of degree n is defined recursively by this formula by those uh, you know p0 is given it's just one and p1 is just equal x and then pn plus one can be defined by this uh, recursive formula and once you have the zero of the polynomial then you can find the weights by this formula and so now suppose you want to find the uh, gauss lagrange rules for two points yeah for degree n equal two then how do we do it? So first we have to find the Legendre polynomial of degree 2. So we have P0 already, we have P1 already. So now in order to find P2, then you just set n equal 1. Yeah? So, so now suppose I label this one is formula 1 and 2 and this one is 3. So if I put in n equal 1, in formula 2, then I have 1 plus 1 is 2, and this one is P2x equal, so 2 plus 1 is 3, 3x, and P1x minus, so n is 1, and then Pn minus 1 just equal P0x. And now you can use formula 1. To put in p1 equal x, so you got 3x times x equal 3x square, and minus p0 is 1. So using 1, yeah. And so therefore you have p2x is just 3 half x square minus 1 half. And you see that the 0 of p2 zeros of p2 it just you just set this one equal zero and when you set this one equal zero then you have 3x square equal one or you have x is plus minus one over square root three okay so so once you have this one then this one become your quadrature quadrature points so x1 so this one is x1 comma two is minus n plus 1 over root 3. And now from that you can find the weight. So the weight will be, so the weight w1 will be 2 over 1 minus x1 square. And now this one is a derivative. So derivative of uh, this function is 3x. Yeah, so 3x and 3x1, yeah, because you put in 3x1 at the uh, at x1 and then you square the whole thing. So then I will put in so 1 minus, so the so x is 1 over root 3, so the, when you square it, it will become 1 over 3. And this one will be 3, 3 square, so it will be 3 um, so 3, 1 over root 3, yeah, so become root 3 square, and so we'll be 2 over, 2 over 3 times 3, so we need 1, okay? And you can do the same to have QW2 is also equal to 1, yeah, because just plus or minus root 3, and when you square, it's the same. And now, so the 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 weight will be 
W1 equal W2 equal 1 and the point is X1 equal minus 1 over root 3 and the second point is 1 over square root 3. Okay, so this is the, the answer of the, the question.